Waiting all day for this. Let's go. Let's go. I know we're ready. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, this is our home field, man. This is our home field. It's been a roller coaster the past month. Um, ever since Coach Beamer announced that he was retiring and a lot of things going on, there's a lot of ways to get distracted, you know, the last home game, a lot of things like that, easy ways for us to get distracted. But uh, I think as a team, we showed a lot of maturity in the way we just kind of just try to block all that out and just play. Trying to make a statement under the lights. Let's go, let's go. Hey, 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 let's go. Hey, man, we know why we're playing. It's not much needs to be said. We know why we're playing. We know who we're playing for. Let's go. Beaver ball on three. One, two, three, beaver ball. A bunch of energy just ready to get ready for go play for Coach Beamer and uh, play for the seniors because, uh, you know, it's just an emotional time, like I was saying. Um, it's been an emotional roller coaster, but just trying to block everything else out and just go play for Coach Beamer, go play for the seniors, and uh, do as best we can to get into a bowl game and get into a good bowl game. So that's what we were just thinking, just go out and go out and get a win. The give on first down and trying to dart up the middle, but not much there is Allen. Brewer takes the snap, wants to throw off the quick drop, does left, grab by Ford, far corner of the end zone. He spins in, touchdown, Virginia Tech Hokies. Oh, the old back shoulder fade, worked to perfection. That's all that summer work right there. That was summer ball right there. Give it to McMillan. McMillan waltzing right up the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, Trayvon McMillan. Touchdown, Virginia Tech Hokies. They lead for the first time tonight. There's the final knee. The horn will follow Virginia Tech back to 500 on the year at 5-5. Five and five. They came in here fueled by emotion. I mean, whenever you get a win, that's kind of what it feels like, honestly. No matter what, it's just... Um, it's a relief to get a win, to go out there, and it's exciting to go out there and get a win. So no matter when it is, um, it's just exciting to go get a win. That was incredible. It's the uh, best walk I've ever been a part of here. I mean, it was just packed. There's been some good walks I've been a part of, but that was by far the most crowded and most energy. It was exciting. And that's why I love playing here and playing in front of Hokie Nation, because it's just so cool and so many energetic fans. the attention on him and uh, I mean even when we were in the meeting room before the last game he's like y'all don't go win this game for me you win it for the seniors and it's just the kind of guy he is. The cool thing about this team is um, they're the sa kind of same way that Coach Beamer is they're going to deflect if they give them too much attention they're going to deflect it back on him so it's just kind of cool the way these guys are and how much character they have. Uh, keep fighting. Uh, you know, Coach Gentry always tells us you're never out of the fight, you're never out of the fight, and that's what he kept saying to us. And, uh, you know, we just have a lot of guys that um, are resilient people and resilient dudes. So just came out and just kept fighting, and uh, when that happens, good things can come your way. Fourth down, drops, throws, middle, touchdown, Bucky Hodges. Touchdown, Virginia Tech Hokies, they're still alive. And the snap comes back to Brewer. Surveying, throwing the four to the middle, and it is caught. Touchdown, Isaiah Ford. Unfortunately, didn't really get it in the end, but um, yeah, they just kept fighting. I think I've been talked about before. Um, we didn't know for sure. Honestly, I didn't know for sure that it was going to happen or not. But uh, it was good that it happened. Just to be able to celebrate in the right way, no matter win or lose. Because, like I said, it wasn't just this season that he's done here. You know, he's been here 29 years and has meant a lot to this community and a lot to a lot of people 
um, all over the country, just people that he's affected that's come through this program. So um, it was the right thing to do. You can see how many people just love Coach Boomer. Um, and you hear about it, but like, and the thing is, there's probably 70 more people that weren't at that walk that love Coach Beamer, but just seeing everybody just, uh, and being there for them and hearing the thank you Beamer chants, I mean, it's something really special. I think we're ready to go. I'm pretty sure we're ready to go. I guess we just gonna have to show y'all then. I guess it's showtime. Uh, they don't like us, we don't like them. I mean, it's, it's everything you think it is. Uh, you know, I, I respect I respect those guys over there. I respect the coach, um, and I wish him well in everything he does. Um, but at the end of the day, it's Virginia Tech UVA, and you learn to treat the rivalry the way it's supposed to be treated. You know, so uh, yeah. Deck turn, fake the give, rolling right, flipping the screen for Rogers. Rogers grabs it too, rumbling to the goal line, right side of the end zone. He's in there, touchdown, Virginia Tech Hokies, touchdown, Sam Rogers. Hurry up, hurry up, baby, let's go. Hey, this is our half, this is our half, we're about to take it over, you got me? Lands his feet, dances a bit, throws it deep and wide open in the end zone, is forward for a car basket catch, touchdown, I see a four. Across the middle, throwing it deep, and it is intercepted! Intercepted by Chuck Clark! Chuck Clark went up and guaranteed that Beamer Ball isn't done yet! Yeah, when Chuck got that pick, um, I, mean, I knew we were going to get a penalty, but I didn't care. I mean, at that point, what's going to happen? We're going to kneel the ball anyway, so game's over. So it was just so exciting. It's fun to be a part of something like that where everybody's just going nuts with each other. and. Like I said, after everything we've been through, it was something really special. And then coming to the locker room to be able to celebrate with Coach Beamer, uh, get, him, get to see him dab a little bit, it's pretty funny. Please welcome the next head coach of your Hokies, Coach Justin Fuente. Uh, Mr. Babcock actually got some of the players together. They had a little player council and um, just talked to us like what we're looking for in a new coach. He wasn't asking who we think he should hire and we're not going to do his job for him. He did a great job. Um, but just he was just looking for like what we're looking like character wise and um, just things like that and I think he did a great job. I'm really looking forward to work with Coach Fuente. He seems like a great guy and I can't wait. We all know you don't uh, replace a legend in coaching. You hope to build uh, on what what he's already done. You hope to continue to operate in the same manner with the same principles and the same integrity um, that, that he's done for so very many years here. I'm incredibly humbled by this opportunity. I cannot wait to get started. I have a deep respect uh, for Virginia Tech and for this community. Thank you, Witt. Thank you, President Sands, for letting me be the next head football coach here. Uh, I can't wait to get started. Thank you. <laughs>